Hi, Kelsey here, and today I'll be taking you through legislation of medical devices. What everybody, really everybody should know. When it comes to the rules and laws that govern medical device development, most people want to know, is this medical device safe? Where's the proof? These are fair questions, but before we answer them, it's important to understand a few key points. A directive is a set of requirements interpreted individually by EU member states. These are legally binding and supported by regulations and guidelines. A regulation is defined as a rule or directive made and maintained by an authority. These are not open to interpretation and are legally binding. A guideline is defined as a general rule and with the intent to streamline a process. This is not legally binding. For the purposes of our video and explanations, we will consider a rule as not legally enforced and a law as legally enforced. Now I'd like to describe the levels of laws. When considering these rules, it is important to note that laws are implemented on different levels. The first at a regional level, such as a town or a state. The second is at a national level, such as a country, the countries that are member states of the EU. The third is at an international level, like that of the European Union as a whole entity. Medical device markets differ between the US and the EU. In the USA, medical devices and medicinal products, also known as pharmaceuticals, are under the same set of regulations. This is different in Europe. Medical devices and medicinal products in the EU each comply to a different set of regulations. Due to the complexity, we will focus on the EU market when discussing legislation. What type of protection do regulations offer us? There are regulations in place to protect data, maintain adequate insurance coverage for all parties, preserve the human rights, and preserve the integrity of a clinical study, obviously its participants, just to name a few. The International Standard for Reference, titled ISO 14155-2020, Clinical Investigation of Medical Devices for Human Subjects, Good Clinical Practice, was updated in July of this year. The quality standard is very similar to GCP for drug studies. However, there are important differences which have an impact on the development of medical devices. This document addresses good clinical practice for the design, conduct, recording, and reporting of clinical investigations carried out in human subjects to assess the clinical performance or effectiveness and safety of medical devices. This document specifies general requirements intended to protect the rights, safety, and well-being of human subjects ensure the scientific conduct of the clinical investigation and the credibility of the clinical investigation results. It defines the responsibilities of the sponsor and the principal investigators, and it assists sponsors, investigators, ethics committees, regulatory authorities, and other bodies involved in the conformity assessment of medical devices. This document does not apply to in vitro diagnostic medical devices which can generally be grouped as devices that are needed to process and or examine specimens taken from the human body. These IVDs are subject to the European Directive 9879 EC IVDD. In addition to ISO 14155, clinical investigations in Europe must comply with the Medical Device Directives or MDD. And from the 26th of May, 2021, with the European Medical Device Regulation, or MDR. Clinical investigations must further comply with relevant provisions of the EU General Data Protection Regulations, or GDPR, 2016-679. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the small introduction to medical devices, rules, and legislation in the EU.